Okay, Algebra 2, this is Chapter 4, Section 6. This is the fourth and final video for this section. I'm actually going to solve a 3 by 3 um, using Kramer's rule. So um, let's get started. So we put our solutions, right? Always go for the variable we're solving for. So our first one, we're solving for x. So we're going to put the 6, the 15, and the negative 10 where the x spot would be. Then we are going to put our y's. So our y's are a 1y, a 1y, and a negative 3y. And then we're going to put our z's. And our z's are a 1z, a negative 4z, and a 1z. Okay. And here are my x's. The denominator is always the same. We put our x's. So 1, 2, 5. Then we put our y's. 1, 1, negative 3. And then we put our z's, so 1, negative 4, and 4. Then we can solve our matrix. So we want to multiply our diagonals, or we want to do minors, whichever you want to do. I'm going to, I think, fill in all three of mine and then come back and work on solving them. So my second matrix, um, let's see. I'm trying to find y, so I'm going to fill the solutions in where the y goes. So I can just copy my x's in. My x's are a 1, a 2, and a 5, and a 1, and a 2, and a 5. My solutions go for the y's, so that's a 6, a 15, and a negative 10. And then I need my z's, and my z's are a 1, a negative 4, and a 1, a 1, a negative 4, and a 1, and I see a typo. Let me fix that there. That should be a 1 down here. And then I need to fill in my y's in the denominator on this one. So that was a 1, a 1, and a negative 3. And then I'm going to go and do my z's. So my z's, I'm going to start with my x's. My x's stay the same. So that's a 1, a 2, and a 5. A 1, a 2, and a 5. My y's are going to stay the same. So that's a 1, a 1, and a negative 3 a 1, a 1, and a negative 3. And then my z's, I'll need to um, change and put my solutions on the top for z. So that's 6, 15, and negative 10. And I'm actually going to fill in my z's in the bottom because the bottoms always stay the same. So 1, negative 4, and 1. Again, now you are ready completely to use determinants and solve. And you can easily use minors or diagonals whichever makes you happy. And notice that you only have to do four determinants because the bottom of all of your fractions is going to be the same. So I've copied over the numerator from my um, top of my fraction here for my x's. So then I can multiply my diagonal. So that's 6 times 1 times 1 is 6. 1 times 4 times 10 is a positive 40. Two negatives make positive. And 1, 15, and 3 would be a negative 45. That's going to be a plus. I'm going to go the other way. So that's 10, 1, and 1. That's a negative 10. So that's going to be a positive 10 down here. Um, 3, 4, and 6. Uh, let's see. That's going to be 3 times 4 is 12. 12 times 6 is 72. So that's a positive 72 because the two negatives. That's going to be a minus 72. And then I've got a 1, 15, and 1, so that's a positive 15, so that's a negative 15. Grab your calculator, so that's 6 plus 40 um, minus 45 plus 10 minus 72 minus 15, and you get a negative 76. And that's going to be the top of this fraction is a negative 76. And then you need to do the, the bottom of the fraction. So hold on a second. Okay, I've copied over the bottom part of my fraction, the 1, 2, 5, 1, 1, negative 3, 1, negative 4, 1. Put it here. I've recopied my first column and my second column so I can do diagonals. So I've got 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 4 times 5 is a negative 20. And 1 times 2 times 3 is a negative 6. My other diagonal, so that's going to be a positive 5. So I bring it down as a negative 5. 
3 times 4 is, that's going to be a positive 12, so I bring it down as a negative 12. And 1 times 2 times 1 is a positive 2, so I bring it down as a negative 2. And I grab my calculator and I've got 1 minus 20 minus 6 minus 5 minus 12 minus 2, and that's going to be a negative 44. Okay, I was following this problem through and coming up with it's not going to work out right because that's supposed to be a negative 15 right here, so that's a negative 15 there, negative 15 there. I have my problem type wrong, so that's negative 15 here, negative 15 there. So the negative 44 on the bottom is going to be right. I need to refigure my top. Um, so let's get rid of that and fix my errors here. So the negative 15 came into play right on here, so that's a negative 15. So that makes that into a positive 15. Let's try that addition again. So 6 plus 40 minus 45 plus 10 minus 72 plus 15 is a negative 46. That seems a lot better. Okay, and I found one more mistake um, right here. If I take negative 15 times negative 3, that should be a positive 45 there. And let's fix that final answer. And whenever I change that, that changes my answer to be a positive 44. And so then this will be, let's fix this one up here. This should be a 44 on top. It should be a negative 44 on the bottom. And so your answer, x, should end up being a negative 1. Okay, and then you would go through and you'd solve y and you'd solve z, but I'm not going to take the time to do that. I think you get the idea. It is very um, easy to make negative positive mistakes, so be careful. Use your calculator when you need to. Double check your work.